It is becoming increasingly apparent to me that there are way more channels on YouTube spreading nonsense than I first thought. A fact that was absolutely confirmed to me on the discovery of a channel called That's Life But Not As We Know It Too. Now they have an interesting array of videos, but one in particular caught my eye on 5G. <laughs> Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tin Foil Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a very big thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Klima. Climate change is the biggest challenge of our generation. Its consequences affecting all of us more than we sometimes dare to admit. Let's not sit back and let others sort this for us. It's time to roll up our sleeves and get everyone involved. How? By making climate action simple, effective and rewarding and that's where Klima comes in. With an affordable monthly subscription you can plant trees, promote green energy products and improve lives around the globe. All while learning about climate healthy living and inspiring others to get involved. With Klima it's easy to get involved. You can calculate your carbon footprint in minutes. Fund climate projects that capture or reduce emissions elsewhere including the regular planting of trees in your name and learn how to reduce your footprint further one lifestyle change at a time. And you can invite your friends to join Klima and track how your climate impact multiplies. The first 100 people that subscribe to Klima will get 10 extra trees planted in their name. Just click the link in the description and enter my code SIMANDAN. Let's make this globe a greener place. Right, back to today's video where a channel called That's Life But Not As We Know It 2 is banging on about 5G. I wonder how much he's going to get wrong. Let's find out. So, our topic of interest today is indeed this mysterious and seemingly magnificent 5G. Right? It is here no matter what. 5G is not mysterious. We know exactly what it is. Here is past Dan to tell you. 5G simply means the fifth generation of the mobile phone network, just like 4G was the fourth and 3G was the third. It is not specifically one thing. It is a whole new range of designs and applications designed to deliver a brand new mobile phone network. This is from an old video of mine uh, called The Truth About 5G. I'll leave a link for that in the description if you want to go and check it out. They claim that we need it, that we want it, but we f don't. No one is screaming out for 5G, but they are rolling it out right across the f board. Well, yes, I guess no one's really asking for 5G. 4G is more than adequate for my internet needs when I'm out and about. But it's a natural progression with all things technological, isn't it? Constant improvement. And before we touch on the very latest, I want to remind you of this article from 2019, the build-up to the pandemic when they switched on 5G in the UK. Funnily enough, right? Does 5G pose health risks? No more than 4G does. And whilst 5G was started in 2019, hardly anyone had a 5G capable phone and only a few cities had it. And there is certainly no relationship between the 5G network turning on and COVID-19. Hmm, I wonder, what are the concerns? The electromagnetic radiation used by all mobile phone technologies has led some people to worry about increased health risks, including developing certain types of cancer. The key phrase here is all mobile phone technologies. This includes 4G, 3G and so on. It's also important to note that we are constantly, and I mean constantly, exposed to radiation all across the electromagnetic spectrum, including higher frequencies from remote controls, no less. Surely not, right? Radiation? Nah, it can't be. In 2014, the World Health Organization, shock, horror, said that no adverse health effects have been established 
as being caused by mobile phone use. As with all other EM radiation, up to the extreme frequency ranges like X-ray and, and gamma rays. Yeah, I bet they f said that. Now, if it if it's coming from the WHO, do not believe fucking word of it. Now remember that, people. Don't believe a word of it. They are the biggest criminals going, and they need stopped straight up. To expand on it more, however, the WHO, together with the International Agency for Research on Cancer, has classified all radio frequency radiation, of which mobile phone signals are a part, as possibly carcinogenic. Yeah, no f Sherlock. But hang on, you just said that the WHO are liars. And besides, they also classify red meat as possibly carcinogenic, so think of that what you will. It has been put in this category because there is evidence that falls short of being conclusive that exposure may cause cancer in humans. Yeah, because history has told us that it f does. Does it though? Are you going to pro provide evidence for that statement or are you just going to say it? And it has been now for decades and by the looks of it, it will only get worse and we possibly are seeing that um, already right now even. And to expand on this a bit more, a toxology report released in 2018 by the US Department of Health is pointed to by those expressing safety concerns, found that male rats exposed to high doses of radio frequency radiation developed a type of cancerous tumour in the heart. Now, I had a look at this report, and it also states this. The exposures used in the studies cannot be compared directly to the exposure that humans experience when using a cell phone, said John Butcher, PhD. NTP senior scientist. In our studies, rats and mice receive radio frequency radiation across their whole bodies. By contrast, people are mostly exposed in specific local tissues close to where they hold the phone. In addition, the exposure levels and durations in our studies were greater than what people experience. So unless you're gonna hold your mobile phone next to your heart for 24 hours a day, I think you're gonna be okay. Yep, for this study, rats whole bodies were exposed to radiation from mobile phones for nine hours a day, every day for two years, starting before they were born. So, uh, yeah, it basically gave the rats cancer, but we have seen it in humans, and they basically now can't hide it, but I guess they've always got a cover uh, and something else to blame. I'd imagine they're likely going to blame Convid. It'll be the Convid that done it. It won't be uh, radiation. It'll be Convid, right? Sure. Convid? Con? Very clever. But no, we won't be blaming any possible increased cancer rates on COVID-19. Uh, it did also say no cancer link was found for the female rats or the mice studied. It was also found that the rats exposed to the radiation lived longer than those in the control group. So let me guess, the report was right about the male rats, but wrong about everything else. Right, so I'd imagine going by this from 2019 and 18, that one of the selling points for 5G in the future will be that it helps you live longer. Hip hip hooray, you can live longer in the tyranny that we are now in. Sign me up, right? Sure. Um, no, I don't think they will be advertising that as a possible benefit from 5G. Anyway, let's have a look at some of the very latest in terms of this horrid 5G from the past week.
at least. Daily Echo, one day ago. Broadstone, councillors and residents praise 5G mast refusal. Good on them. Hip hip hooray for real because this is what we need. But of course, they don't give up. They'll be back again or they'll put it somewhere else. Don't accept it. Well, it's probably more to do with the fact that it was an eyesore or not in keeping with their community. Who knows? But it doesn't mean that 5G is bad. South End Echo three days ago. Priory Crescent residents oppose plans for free 5G mast. Good. This is what people need to do. Get together as a community. Reject it. We don't need it. And it is not good for anyone's in health. No, we probably don't need it, but it's here. And at the moment, there is absolutely no evidence to suggest that it's more harmful than 4G. Something which I assume you have no problem using whatsoever. So there we go. A very interesting take on 5G there from That's Life But Not As We Know It too. All nonsense, of course. Now his video goes on for a further 13 minutes, but it's all exactly the same stuff. Total rubbish, no evidence, and nothing of value whatsoever. Now, his channel is an absolute goldmine. I'm pretty sure we'll be going back at some point. Um, I've seen a very interesting one on chemtrails, for example. So, look forward to seeing him again. In the meantime, we are all done and dusted for Tim for Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it today, then please, please do hit the like button at the bottom of this video and even consider subscribing as well for more of the same. Just enough time to once again uh, thank Klima for sponsoring today's video. It's really appreciated and honestly, it is a very important message. Remember, the first 100 people to subscribe uh, using my code SIMANDAN will get 10 extra trees planted in their name. Link for that is in the description. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a cracking week, and I'll see you on Friday where Eric DeBay returns. See you then.